Science. Stimulators off. Left leg up. Left leg down. Right leg up. Left leg up. Left leg down. This x-ray shows how the patient was able to lift his legs separately thanks to an innovative electrical device implanted into his spine. He is one of four subjects paralyzed from below the waist taking part in research carried out by scientists from the University of Louisville in Kentucky. And this is how it works. The device is an array of epidural electrodes powered by a small battery which was implanted into the subject's spinal cord. When the patient turns it on, electrical impulses are sent out which mimic the signals which the brain transmits. They in turn engage the neural network to direct the muscle movements. What we see today with these four individuals now being able to have voluntary motion and voluntary control of their limbs and involuntary control of functions like bladder and bowel is very exciting. It is a milestone. It's not the end of the research. The electrical stimulation made the lower spinal cord more excitable, so it was able to respond when the messages did arrive from the brain. Ken Stevenson took part in the trial. So I've also seen some benefits of the STEM training, even when it's turned off. Like there's been huge improvements in like my bowel, bladder, and sexual function. The U.S. National Institute of Health is investing in more advanced stimulators, which would better target the spinal cord, as well as devices that might work on people who are paralyzed in their upper limbs.